to you. So I no, you just speak you. about me. You fight behind right, my back, and it's the most pathetic fighting nuts. I've ever seen. You are literally nuts. That's really nice to you. Yeah, so. you're nuts. You know too. what? I'd rather be nuts <laughs> than boring. Um, Amanda, did you ever have a problem with Lindsay and Carl dating? I never had a, an issue with them dating. I want all the best for them. They're gonna figure out their own journey, whether it works or not. Next Thank time, you. Amanda. Okay, I wanna move on. So, you all have solidified a wedding venue? Yes. And can you tell us where? Can you tell us when? Mexico. Great. November. So destination wedding in November. So about Great. This, this Six November. months from now. So coming wow. up quickly. Yeah. Who of your housemates will be invited? Should I ask you that at the end of the night? I mean, we <laughs> we have an invite list we're working on, but I don't we think haven't it's, sent We haven't sent anything out anything yet. Anything out yet. We only want the people there who support our relationship. And there's definitely some people sitting up here today that are gonna be there. I just really hope that we can find a way to, to remove some of the deep-rooted anger and hate and try and figure out a path forward. And I thought today would be that chance. So we'll finalize the invite list hopefully soon. Okay. Well, over the past six summers, we watched Kyle and Carl build an unbreakable bond. But this summer, work conflicts and personal strains had us wondering if this house share could be their last. So there's like 100 girls and three dudes. Me, man. Just wanted some cool guys to hang out with. Nothing against you, man. See how it is? I'm gonna have to have a conversation with Carl. The vibe that I've been picking up is like, he's on the verge of like, just quitting. Like, I'm burned out at Loverboy. I don't feel like I'm valued sometimes. What is different? He has Lindsay in his ear saying, you're invaluable, you're not being appreciated, you're this and that. I'm like, are you kidding me? Careful what you're dealing with here. You are a master manipulator. Good luck to my best friend, because you're a psycho. Psycho. I can't believe this is the question I'm leading with, but what is the current status of your relationship? Clearly, there's a change in the friendship, let's be honest. You know, it's been complicated when you work with friends. It's hard when you're changing your lifestyle and adjusting things and trying to figure out your career path. And, you know, it came to a head, and I take a lot of responsibility because I didn't actually open up to Kyle as much as I should have coming into last summer. He's given me a lot of opportunity in life and as a man and to grow up, and he's someone that's super important to me. Kyle, fair assessment of where you guys are today? Yeah, I knew the work stuff was getting challenging. I mean, look, his role was already kind of shifting into a much more like events and market driven role as opposed to VP of sales. And it was more just like, I was doing my best to give him insane leeway while he tried to figure out what he wanted to do. And last year I, I practically felt taken advantage of. Kyle, why immediately blame Lindsay's influence for Carl's unhappiness at work? You know, there was one thing after another, and it was timed exactly when, like, their relationship was hitting its stride. I can understand how you might see that Lindsay's in my ear. I just, it really would... Well, it got worse. Let me, well, let, let, if you want me to finish. I, but we, I come home and I vent and she sees things, but I made the de decisions that I've made and please do not put it on her. Okay, can I? She also on. complained about your son. And I've said this to Kyle. Yeah. At my job, when I was really stressed and I was complaining to Kyle about it, he's hearing my side of the story and he's giving me advice to support my needs, not knowing what my other like employees or bosses right. are actually I dealing with. That. Right. So I've tried to explain this to him too, that Carl's venting, Carl's frustrated, and you're trying to give him advice Based off there. of the information that you and were she, correct, she, and guess what my advice was? My you advice need to talk to was Kyle. you need to talk to Kyle. And he goes, "I'm just going to quit." And I said, "No, you're not." Word for Can't word, I said, "You will not blindside so, your best friend." Me being in his ear was, "You need to talk to Kyle. You need to talk so, to so Kyle." I appreciate that, okay. and I can relate. But Maybe you want to right apologize yeah. to Lindsay. So, so look, Do you want I apologize, apologize to for Lindsay? pinning that on you. So Lindsay was not in his ear. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So I'm sorry. Thank you. Again, it was me trying to take a very complicated nature and simplify it, but it got down you to a point where hurt. even I was like, yeah, I know it's not a Lindsay. Right. Well, fortunately, Kyle did vocalize his frustrations with Carl early on. Unfortunately, he did it for an audience that did not include Carl himself. He showed up one day, so coked out. He didn't bring his computer to work. All right. The world needs to know. What you're saying right now is very unfair. If you want to say something to me, come here. Let's go for it. You are so wrong. It's laughable. All right, dude, I don't want to do this. If you had any clue what actually goes on Monday through Friday, come talk. 
so sick of this. What was it like when you heard Kyle air all of your dirty laundry when you weren't there to defend yourself? <sighs> um, I, I, I don't really have a lot of words other than I showed up to work coked up and forgot my laptop. Out of my mouth, I wish I would have had the opportunity to say that, not you, but I am incredibly ashamed and embarrassed um, about my past, and I really hope I try to repay you guys with hard work. But for my addiction to be brought up so publicly, it really hurt when you said that, because I, I forget sometimes about my past. And I felt, I felt like the dirtiest guy in the world for, you know, even just when it came out of my mouth. Should I have brought it up and done it the way I did? Oh my God, it was so, That's I'm bad. so ashamed and so embarrassed. And I just knew it was gonna be a, a knife to the heart. Look, it, 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 candidly, I think I'd for years just done my best to deal with the challenges of some of his addictions. And quite frankly, early on, I don't think I realized to the extent that he was struggling. And I felt so bummed and frustrated. And it, it was like me at my worst. I mean, this guy is my best friend. And I can't grasp what he's had to go through. And for me to just like rip that bayonet off again, like a year later, like. Give him a hug. No, never mind. I have never felt more ashamed and, and more sorry. But like, you don't need a reminder. You've already, you've already gone through that. And I'm sorry for bringing that up.